Welcome to TouchPlan, a web-based planning tool that allows project teams to build plans together in one place. Once plans are built collaboratively, teams can track commitments, monitor schedule progress, and continuously improve your planning over time. Let's spend a couple minutes talking through how to get started. Throughout this video, you'll learn how to sign up for your TouchPlan account, organize your project, and begin planning in TouchPlan with your team. To access your project in TouchPlan, you'll first need to create your TouchPlan account. Simply go to www.touchplan.io and click Log In on the top right of the page. Next, select Create an Account and enter your work email address and create a password. Now, let's log into TouchPlan and take a brief tour. Now that we've logged into TouchPlan, you will see a list of any projects that you have access to on the left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see an Insights dashboard that will display a variety of project or portfolio metrics on how the team is planning across your project or set of projects. On the left-hand side of your screen, simply click on one of your projects and a list of your phase plans will appear on the left-hand side. Phase plans provide a way to divide up projects into digestible sections. These are typically organized by the construction phases of the project and are often built out in alignment with your work breakdown structure in your master's schedule. Each phase plan represents a separate planning board, so we want to ensure that the setup of the plans makes it easy for trade partners working together on the job to plan together in the same phases. Phase plans can be edited by clicking the three dots to the right of each plan. To add a new plan, click the plus sign on the left-hand side of your screen above your list of plans. Click into one of your phase plans on the left-hand side and we'll take a brief tour of where you and your team will conduct collaborative planning sessions in TouchPlan. Here we have a sample phase plan. Navigation in your plans can be done by panning and zooming. Pan around your screen by clicking and dragging anywhere on the screen in the background. Zoom in or out by using a pinching motion if you're on a trackpad on a laptop, or if your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can use that to zoom in and out as well. Lastly, you have a plus sign and a minus sign icon on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen that allows you to zoom in and zoom out. Use the touch plan T on the top left corner as your home button to bring you back to the original home page. You'll notice in our phase plan that we have an active line running top to bottom on the right hand side of my screen. The active line determines how far out into the future your scheduling space goes. As you can see, there's a scheduling timeline to the left-hand side of the active line, which represents our short-term look-ahead planning. To the right-hand side of our active line is a blank white planning board that allows teams to sequence long-term activities without dates. To extend your schedule timeline, simply click on the active line and a calendar will appear. Select a date into the future and your schedule will extend to that date. We recommend having your active line positioned at least six weeks out in front of you so you can effectively build look ahead plans in the short term on a timeline. Phase plans can be divided into distinct sections using something called swim lanes. Swim lanes can be added to your phase plans by clicking plan actions on the top right corner and selecting add a swim lane. Swim lanes are typically utilized on construction projects by locations. So within a phase plan, you would have swim lanes for area one, area two, and so on. Once you have your active line positioned at least six weeks out ahead of you, and you've created swim lanes for the various locations within your phase plan, we can now begin adding milestones, tasks, and constraints onto our planning board. You'll notice three different shaped icons on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The diamond represent milestone tickets, 
square represent task tickets and the circle represents constraint tickets. Click on any of the icons to create that ticket type. Enter the ticket details and click save. After entering ticket details and clicking save, you'll notice that your ticket goes into a gray bar on the bottom of your screen. We call this the on deck area. Think of that as your parking lot of tickets prior to placing them up onto the planning board above. When you're ready, click and drag your ticket out of the gray area and place it up on the appropriate date. Now that you're situated in TouchPlan, you can begin adding other folks to access your project. Click Members on the left-hand side and select Add Project Member. Enter the work email address of the person you wish to invite and assign them an appropriate role. Roles can be customized on the left-hand side beneath where it says Members. Check the admin box for anyone on the project who would be facilitating planning sessions using TouchPlan. Typically, general contractor project team members would be listed as admin users, while trade partners would be listed as non-admins. It's important to note that non-admin users who have been assigned a particular role only have access to create, edit, and move tickets in that assigned role color. After clicking Save, users that you've invited will receive an auto-generated email welcoming them to the project. That email prompts them to visit our website, www.touchplan.io, and click Sign Up on the top right corner. We hope you've enjoyed your brief introductory tour to TouchPlan. We look forward to working with you and your team on your specific projects moving forward.